Hello everyone, um, this should be a short video, I just want to run through um, rebuilding my IC setting tool. I picked this up um, in that big job lot of Quantel parts and various bits, um, this came with it, so uh, obviously this used to be uh, used at Quantel to um, set um, IC pins. So what this actually is for, uh, when you get fresh um, ICs uh, out of the tubes. Um, you might uh, have experienced the uh, the pins always uh, point outwards and never actually line up with the holes that you want to plug them into. So what this tool actually does is just allow you to set the pins um, so they are actually pointing straight down so they fit perfectly into the PCB or the sockets you're using. Um, so this does two sizes. Uh, that's the narrow one and there is a wider version as well on the base. So uh, when I picked this up, um, it actually the bearings were not in great condition to be honest, um, but I recently took them off and tried to uh, give them a clean, but as you can see they're actually sealed bearings, so it really didn't help at all and they're now even worse than they were before. So what I've done, I've gone off uh, to eBay and purchased the finest Chinese quality bearings. So what I'm going to do is remove the old bearings off, uh, pop these ones on um, and see if we can set everything up and align it um, to actually do what it's supposed to do. So it's a pretty simple construction this, it's literally just an extruded piece of aluminium uh, with uh, a couple of bearings attached on each side, um, obviously with a small tolerance between um, the bearing and the aluminium there so when the pins run through it straightens them up. Um, so this was obviously made by RS uh, part number 424-658, um, no longer available to purchase. So obviously um, the need for aligning um, through hole components has uh, long since departed and uh, they don't sell these anymore. But for working with um, retro and vintage stuff, uh, very handy indeed. Right, well, let's just remove the old bearings. So we've just got a washer underneath the bearing just so it doesn't uh, foul actually on the, um, the aluminium itself. No idea how much these actually cost when they were new. Knowing RS prices they're probably, <laughs> it's probably horrendously expensive but if you were needing to do straighten a lot of these ICs out it would have been a very handy bit of kit. So that's the old bearings out, um, they are actually a pretty decent quality, they are NMB uh, and they are part number 608Z so uh, pretty box standard off the shelf bearings. So I'm just going to replace them with these uh, top quality Chinese bearings off eBay that cost uh, I think bag of eight was nine pounds or something <laughs> but there we go I, I don't suppose you need that much precision on something like this so I'm just going to put the washer there now there is obviously no real alignment on on this I guess uh, whoever used to make these for RS probably had some little jig that would put the bearings in the right place, um, whereas I am just going to have to um, wing it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use an IC that has actually already been straightened. Uh, this is actually it is a Quantel um, IC, this one. It's one of the uh, eight PROMs off a CPU board. And uh, what I'm going to do is just pop it in here and then just set this bearing um, so it's roughly in the center and just pinching the pin on the IC and then set the other one and um, see what it's like. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay. 
it's definitely tricky trying to line this up because as you actually tighten this uh, this bolt up it actually uh, moves the bearing slightly away from the actual I see so you have to sort of hold a bit of pressure on it now oh, that actually feels pretty good to be honest you want to try pop it in there and you just is it through a couple of times we have straight pins yeah it looks good on there it's not it uh, doesn't look like it's damaging any of the, the actual pins or uh, making them skew um, obviously if there was too much pressure on this as you push it through it would want to bend the pins one all one way so it doesn't seem to be doing that so it looks like we've got that one that side set up so now we just need to try and do it on this one because this one doesn't seem to be quite right oh you can see there I've got this one way too tight now that's actually cogging on the pins so that's obviously way too much and yeah it is actually starting to bend the pin so let's just try that again I think it's just one of those things you just have to do on trial and error Right, I think now I've got that pretty much set up as best as I can. Um, now what I'm going to do now is just give those uh, the outer um, race of the bearing there a bit of a clean. Make sure there's no um, oil and grease left on it because obviously bearings like this always come covered in grease. So you won't really want that on the pins if you're going to be soldering it. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Bye for now.